Hi hey everybody, welcome back. Today, we are outside. We have two pear trees that need pruned. It's February. It's the time to prune these. Now, when we bought this house, these trees were here. So, if you notice, there they are. I think they're older pear trees. Last year, we kind of let them grow just to see what they would do because we didn't know quite what to do with them. Last year, I think we got seven pear off of them. The squirrels probably got seven. And they, they weren't very, they were, they tasted good, the ones we got, but the rest of them just didn't grow. So, I googled, YouTube, and talked to people about pruning these trees. We've never done it before. This is not a tutorial. Don't do what we do, because we don't know what we're doing. We're just, we're just going to try. There's a lot of growth. Look at all this. It's like... These up right here? Yeah, the, those have to go. I, we know those have to go. So here. we're gonna try to really clean up these trees. Maybe two. I don't. We don't know what we're doing. We really don't know. And there are two different kind of trees. And if I could figure it out, I'll put that in somewhere. But don't don't do what we're doing. Just remember that. Not a tutorial. Right now it's like 30 degrees and there's a winter storm advisory that started at 4 o'clock today. It starts at 4 o'clock today and it's like 3 o'clock. So I don't know if we're going to get any snow, but we'll see. Okay, we also have a grapevine that I, of course, watch YouTube videos how to take care of this because we are not getting good grapes from here. So I, um, I just tore it all back. I tore it all back. There's two main, one, two. Yeah, there's two main shoots coming up. There were a lot more than that. So I don't know, hopefully we'll get something from here. It said on the, on the tutorials that we watched that there shouldn't be any rubbing or we had a lot of rubbing branches up here and crossing branches and I don't know. <sighs> now down here at the base of the tree, I don't I don't really know what's happening there. But I just cut them all back. Anybody have any advice? Feel free to leave it in the comments or a video that we should watch or just anything. Something else that we noticed. I, can you see that? Can you see the holes? What are the holes? We're not real sure what these holes are. They're, I don't think they're on. They're not on this one. They're just on that one. I wonder if that one has like bugs in it. I wonder if that whole side needs to come down. Okay, help. He found a big, big one that goes straight up. He's going to cut that one out. That one going to go straight up. He found a couple. In fact, he may end up getting his chainsaw. I don't know. Now watch when he pulls this limb out. How much... I mean, it's way up there. You want me to hold that? Yeah, it's way up there. I think when we're done, these trees are going to really look bald, but that's okay. I think. Rumor has it, a bird needs to be able to fly through the tree. I don't know. That's what. I heard a couple people say. While he's doing this, I'm just kind of trimming up this tree. I did get my little ladder. And I'm doing kind of the bottom. I don't even know if we should cut the bottom branches off. I don't know. I don't. That big one? Yeah. I'm probably going to... Probably not a good idea to stand under the 
branch is going to fall. I'll make a video in the fall and tell you if we got any pears. Or I'll give you pear tree updates along the way. See how we did here. That's another big one. Uh, he found another one. He said they're on the other side. fruit trees, so they're not hard to cut. I don't know, as you can see, we're taking some pretty big limbs out. There's my foot. Pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty big limbs out. That's what we have so far. <clears throat> I don't know when the last time this tree was pruned. I do know for a while the, the family kept up with it. But we have a conglomeration of something like right there that I don't know if that's going to be. My husband just took a big one out from where he's at. I had to go get my hat. It's cold out here. But I did tell him when he was concerned about cutting all these branches down the tree's going to be bald and I said I think it needs to be especially for how bad the tree is I mean even if we don't get pears this year it'll grow maybe we'll get them next year I don't know I, I don't know I'm going to start carrying some of these branches so I don't trip over them we have where, 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 where burn these things at? I don't know there's a no burn law in Ohio right now. So, I don't know what we're gonna do. We have our pile over there. Can you see that? We do burn over there. So, I don't know where we're gonna burn these. All right, what we also have are these two trees growing into each other. Can't have that. So we're trying to cut them back in that aspect too. How you doing? Yep. So far. Can you grab this for me? Yep. Okay, so now this limb, that limb. Alright, well we've got this part of the tree done. We kind of balded out the tree. I don't know. But there over there's a mess. It's just, it, it, my husband's working on a, a mess. I don't know, can you see that mess up there? Oh, it almost looks like a nest, it's not a nest. And I've slowly been working on this tree. If I get the bottom half somewhat done, he can get the top. But, I don't know. I'm finding that we're having a lot of these big bump things. It's like a big knot that a, a branch grows out of. Not sure what that is or why it's like that. Like there's one right up there. I don't know. Like I said earlier, don't don't do what we do. Don't just don't do what we do. We don't know. We're newbies at this, okay? We're trying. We are really bolting this tree. We have a table, a glass table that usually sits right there. In fact, it's over there upside down. And this tree is really nice shade. Was nice shade. Maybe it will be again someday, but I guess pear trees are not meant to be shade trees. He was gonna stand on the daggone wood pile. Bad idea. So. He he chose not to do that, but he's really got, he's working on that mess up there. You see all that? There's branches everywhere. Our goal is just, whoa, our goal is we don't want, we don't want the branches rubbing and touching each other. So we're having to remove a lot. Well, he's cut the one big tall thing out of the tree. He's on this side, he's having a lot of, not a lot of problems, but it's not easy because he's working in mud. The ladder's sinking. 
Look, we've got a lot we've torn down. Some I've taken over to the fire pit. A bird definitely could fly through that now. Well, now he's cut both sections off the top. And he's working on trimming up over there. We usually get more sun. Well, the sun is on the south side of this tree. So that's the side that my husband is actually on. So that side is always like filled out. Well, not always, because I don't know. I haven't lived here forever. But that side has always, again, always filled out more than this side over here. So maybe now that there's, it, he's trimming it out really good, the north side will get more sun and actually grow. How you doing? Doing. You're doing. His arm's kind of getting sore from sawing. He's done. We've been out here for about an hour and a half now. Sawing away. I know what I'm going to do. While he's trimming that, I'm going to trim up this bush around the bottom because it's not lawnmower friendly. I'm going to make it lawnmower friendly. Kind of. We'll see. This looks safe. He's trimming from the, the wood pile. OSHA approved. OSHA approved. Okay, well, don't fall. A little higher. Oh, geez, he's got to go higher. Let's see how this goes. There he is, wood pile and all. Okay, grandkids, if you are watching this, you are not allowed to do what Jeepa is doing. Do what we say, not what we do. I think this tree is done. D-U-N-N. -N. Done, D-U-N-N, -N, done. How about, there's one, move your, okay, never, never, I'm not even gonna, it could be done. Supervisor has nothing to say but get down off the wood pile. Oh, now he's gonna try the other tree from the wood pile. Grab my bow saw here. Oh, he's getting his saw. Okay, now he's gonna fall off the wood pile with the saw in his hand. That's not good. If you notice. I'm not really concerned about the wood pile falling too much. I got it propped up on wood. So it won't sink in and fall over. Alright, well that wood pile's fallen before. Before before with the wood on it. Okay. Jeez. We're gonna bald this tree now, I guess. Here it goes. Okay, so this tree's done. Boy, does it look different. Except for this piece. I want that needs to come off. And we got a big ladder sitting here so he can get that. But hopefully, we'll, even if it's not this year, next year it will, I don't know, fill out and produce a pear. Pears are my favorite fruits. So hopefully, I can get to them before the squirrels do. Anybody have any advice on how to keep your squirrels out of your trees? Comment below. Here he goes. Well, that's all right because it, that needs to come off. You could take that off. Take that this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, take that big, big tall one off because nobody can pick pears way up there. Squirrel can, he gets them all the time. Uh, <laughs> you're right. You are right at that. I don't know what I've heard that you want the fruit needs to grow like at the end of the trees where you could pick it. I don't know if that's true or not. I have no idea. But I don't know why I'm out here. You see that big branch? We have a huge tree here too. And I would love to put a tire swing or something on that branch for the kids. 
goes way out there. I think they would love that. All right, hours later, I think we're done. Are we done? We're done. We're done. All right, so we really went in on these because we weren't sure. I mean, there's always the chance that next year they'll be better. I don't know. And then this one, and I've showed you that one. So there they are. I could use some more whacking on that end, huh? Oh yeah, we're gonna take that little. Why well, you got the big ladder out? He's gonna take that big piece off. What do you think? All right. If you have any suggestions for us, help. We need it. We don't know what we're doing, but we try. All right. I will see you next time. Bye.